the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com standard open in Orlando, sponsored by Ultimate Guard. I am Nick Miller alongside Joshua Diggerson. How are you doing? Pretty good. Josh here joining us for a player interview on the SCG Tour. You are number 10 on the leaderboard, and you are number 5 on the Season 2 leaderboard where you're trying to make your push for the Players' Championship. That is correct. This is uh, our chance to meet Josh. Tell us about yourself, where you're from, and uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana right now. I came from Lebanon. It's a small town. Nobody really knows about it. Um, recently moved to Indianapolis when I got a project manager job for a manufacturing company. Uh, left that to pursue Magic as a full-time career, and that's currently what I'm doing, trying to make a run for the Players' Championship seriously, traveling to every Star City event. And, uh, you know, so you moved to Indiana, and then when did you decide to kind of go all in? Because you had been playing Magic for a while, and yeah. we had some, seen some Almost of your results my whole life, yeah. popping up, and uh, when did you decide to really make the push here on the SCG Tour? Uh, probably beginning of March, I think, is when I left my job and decided to pursue Magic full-time. Okay. And uh, we've seen you've been putting up results. You've won a state. You won uh, Premier IQ back in the day when we had those. Yeah. Uh, but most recently, your big success came. You won the standard open attached to the Invitational. Unfortunately, it's kind of the the hidden open. Yeah. No one yeah. really gets to see what goes on <laughs> there, uh, with the the Invitational overshadowing it. Yep. But you of course took down a two day open and mm. uh, you played Ramp Green Red. Yep. Uh, a deck that you've kind of been putting up a lot of results with. Uh, what about this deck? Kind of draws you to it. Uh, I. I consider myself someone who likes to play decks on a different axis than the majority of the field. Rather than playing the best deck, most of the time I'm the guy that's trying to beat the best deck. And ramp is, is really my style. It, it offers a lot of threats that your opponent can't answer. And if you get to play your game, then you'll, usually you'll be able to win. Mm -hmm. And how would that open go for you? Obviously, uh, a lot of big names in that top eight, mm -hmm. uh, Tom Ross, Noah Walker, yourself as well. Yep. Uh, how'd that go for you? And uh, what was it like to you know, get your first trophy? Uh, it was awesome. It was a great experience. Uh, definitely validated the uh, decision to try to pursue Magic full time and gave me even more motivation to continue doing so. Uh, the tournament itself, uh, I made the ramp deck to beat decks like Band Company and Humans, and I played Band Company like 12 times throughout the tournament, <laughs> and I won 11 of them. The one I lost actually was a rematch in the finals, and I won that one, so the matchup was really good. Uh, the deck felt awesome. The tournament was awesome. It was a really good experience. Okay, and since uh, that Open, you've put up some pretty solid results, like top 32s, mm -hmm. you know, somewhere in the 40th place range and above, pretty much yep. for each Open after that. Yep. Uh, you played the Mono Blue Prism deck, uh, the last open in Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, you're not playing that this weekend. How come? Uh, it felt like a solid choice the last at that tournament, but this weekend I'm not so sure. I think people have adapted to the fact that a deck like that exists in the meta, and with decks like that, it's really best to be unpredictable and play that at a time where you think it'll be a good choice. And this weekend, I think because. There's been a lot of articles written on it. Um, some other pros are picking it up and things like that. I think it's more of a known quantity than it was then. Uh, of course, you were doing very well toward the end of the tournament. You kind of ran into a murderer's row, though. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. ran into Jerry and his 15 and 0. Yeah, like he's round 13 me, just or so. like you did everybody else. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Ross Merriam after that. So you kind of had some tough opponents there at the end. Yep. Uh, but you know, this weekend you've cycled back to Green Red Ramp, right? Correct. All right. What's the decision on that this weekend? Uh, I think there's been an influx in aggressive strategies, and I think the green-red ramp is poised to take down decks like uh, humans and just all the variants, um, different band decks, four-color rights, like things like that. And it has a great matchup against the prison deck as well. So, mm -hmm. all right. So uh, we kind of figured out about magic. What do you do outside of magic now that you said you kind of push full time for that? You got to have something else to do. Uh, yeah, I'm really big into watching anime, and I play video games. Uh, I'm wearing a Dark Souls shirt right now. It's one of my <laughs> favorite series. Uh, I play sports with my friends, tennis, basketball. Um, anytime I have an opportunity, I like to travel. That's one of the main reasons I like going to tournaments. You get to see a new city every week. It's awesome. Yeah, the SCG Tour allows you to kind of travel all over the place and yep. play as many tournaments as you want. So. Yep. Wrapping up here, what's your end goal? I know you want to make the Players' Championship. You got any aspirations outside of that? Uh, yeah, I'm really just trying to make a, a name for myself in the Magic community as a whole and on the game itself. Uh, and Pretty much 
all the tournaments and all of that stuff is working towards that. Okay. Any sponsors or websites you work for or anything? So. Yeah, I currently write for uh, mtgcardmarket.com weekly, and that's it right now. All right. Well, check him out there. You'll see him on the SCG Tour, Josh Dickerson. Thanks for joining me here in the Thanks. sideboard. Stay tuned to StarCityGames.com all weekend long for the action here in Orlando.